Wonderful. Welcome to Wednesday morning Bible study with Covenant United Methodist Church. Today we're going to read Colossians chapter 2, verses 1 to 10 in the New International Version of the Bible. I want you to know how hard I am contending for you and for those at Laodicea and for all who have not met me personally. My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I tell you this so that you may, you, so that no one may deceive you by fine-sounding arguments. For though I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit and delight to see how disciplined you are and how firm your faith in Christ is. So then, just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. See to it that no one takes you captive through a hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. Amen. Amen. Before we get too deep, what uh, what words stand out? Lord, I am contending for you. Amen. For though I am absent from you in body, Amen. I am present with you in spirit. Amen. And the light to see how disciplined you are. Yes. Encouraged in heart and united in love. Christ in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Amen. Complete understanding. <laughs> mm -hmm. He is the head over every power and authority. I'm present with you in spirit. <clears throat> that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ. No one can receive you. Amen. Continue to live your lives in him. Treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Amen. So that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. Amen. Strength and faith. Deceive you by fine sounding arguments. Mm -hmm. That's good. Fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. He is the head over every power and authority. Amen. Amen. Anything else before we read it again? Continue to live your lives in him. Yes. Yes. In Christ, you have been born to fullness. Amen. Overflowing with thanks, thankfulness. Thankfulness, yes. Yes. Hey Amen. Would somebody like to read it the second time? I want you to know how hard I am. There, there's a feedback. Is there someone not, the audio is not off? Okay. I want you to know how hard I'm contending for you and for those at Laodicea and for all who have not met me personally. My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that, may know, in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I tell you this so that no one may deceive you by fine sounding arguments. For though I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit and delight to see how disciplined you are and how firm your faith in Christ is. So then, just as you received Christ, as, Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, 
which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than Christ. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. Amen. 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 So what is this, uh, what is this saying to us? Obviously, it's Paul. Paul's letter. So, in, in, encouraged in heart and united in love. Mm -hmm. That's co that's covenant. That's the if you could describe covenant, that's covenant. Amen. Amen. Right. And that in all in all circumstances, he is with us. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And that, that we can know this mystery of God called Christ. And also the warning that not, you know, not allow, not just a focus on God, not allowing anything, you know, to keep us captive, mm -hmm. you know, de de mm -hmm. deceive us, mm -hmm. you know, as is naturally human. Mm-hmm. But focus on Christ. On Christ, and and hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are are, are hidden in Christ. The more I I read and see, you know, I hear about these churches with these fine sounding arguments. Which aren't true, which aren't based on Christ. Gerard says, oh, I'm trying to get to it, comes down to faith and love. Follow the three treasures of God to see you through any and all circumstances. Amen. Wisdom. Amen. I can't see the rest of it. Wisdom. Wisdom. Knowledge and understanding will see you through. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you, Gerard and Monterey. Pastor, when I look at this again, I have to thank you. I don't know how you do this, but... <laughs> I've been wrestling with this whole scripture because that's what's going on right now. Today, we are being deceived by so many people mm -hmm. um, and the people in the church are being deceived. But the bottom line of this whole scripture, again, this is just me plucking out what brings me to light, is that God is saying you have the Holy Spirit in you. That's what Jesus left you the holy spirit to guide you and direct you and when you have the holy spirit in you then you have the fruit of the holy spirit Amen. Um, Amen. which those nine fruit but you also have the spiritual gifts of wisdom the gift of wisdom the gift of knowledge mm -hmm. um so this whole scripture is summarizing how we need to walk by faith again another spiritual gift, another fruit of the Holy Spirit in order not to be deceived by the enemy. So I, again, I have to thank you, Pastor, because I've been struggling with this, how folks can just look you right in the face and lie. <laughs> right, 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 without, without conscience. So, so let me let me tell you God at, God at work. And so I was talking to someone, you know, about Colossians and their, you know, their Bible, they said, well, Colossians isn't in the New Testament. And so had a discussion. I said, yeah, yes, it is. And so, and so this was last week. And so I didn't even look at the, uh, I have like four Bible studies in a row and, and Colossians was the one that was the one today. I mean, it's got to work. And so hey, literally I just, passages speak to me. There's no rhyme or reason to these things. It's just passages speak. I'm not trying to strategize or anything. It just says, Hey, well, let's put this on the list. So, um, uh, so thank you, thank you for that. And it's um, it's like the, I read the Upper Room. Some people read the Daily Word. It seems like how how appropriate those passages exactly are for what you're looking for. Amen. And so Amen. You just have to let go and let God. Amen. Amen. Doctor, read a good point. Amen. The uh, the uh, what else stands out for you? I think the thing that stands out to me is that you can get, be captive, be held mm -hmm. captive by hollow and deceptive philosophy, 
-hmm. philosophies. And so that's why Dr. Rita, letting the Holy Spirit guide you and, and pastor, you saying, look how well the Holy Spirit will guide you um, Amen. to keep you away from those deceptive um, 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 philosophies. Amen. And as it says here, if you're overflowing with thankfulness, it's hard to be deceived. One of the one of the tricks of the devil is to 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 make you not thankful. Your life is horrible. Your life is bad. You need me yeah. to help your life instead of saying, "Thank God for everything I have." That's good. And and the treasure, and it goes back to the treasures of wisdom and knowledge aren't found in. And deceitful, deceitful people that's really found in Christ. Amen. And it goes back even to the Old Testament when you read Proverbs mm -hmm. and it tells you to keep wisdom. It says tie it around your neck and um and um and and you know take it with you wherever you go. And um I think that's what we have to do with his word. We have to apply it to every part of our being and all of our lives and every part of our lives. Mm -hmm. um, we have to ask the Holy Spirit to be in our homes, to be in our finances, to be in our marriage, to be in our relationships, um, to be in our church. Mm -hmm. And I think when we carry him wherever we go, you have good results. And and it is a warning at the at the um end of the um at the end when it tells us to be, you know, beware of these things because a lot of people still hold on to certain traditions and um, a lot mm -hmm. of people still practice certain traditions mm -hmm. um, instead of just following Christ and, um, and, and, and following him. And mm -hmm. he also says in, in this constant, constant, he's talking about love, mm -hmm. love, love one another. Mm -hmm. So, um, I think when we carry him in our hearts and we carry him because we know God is love. So yes, yes. some of those fruits of the spirits are being displayed. Right. Amen. 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 What else stands out here for you? What? For me, it's a reinforcement that mm -hmm. during this time today, um, and in the future, we are in a spiritual war. Mm -hmm. um, it's not against people, but it's against antichrist ideas yep. and antichrist beliefs. And unless we are rooted and grounded mm -hmm. in Jesus and the Holy Spirit, we can be deceived very easily. Yes, yes, you're you're so right. And um, you know, we just need to pay attention to the world around us. And just see how we're being negatively influenced in so many ways. And stay in his word. I, I yeah. think I think that's very mm -hmm. important that mm -hmm. we read our Bibles. Um, I told someone yesterday, it's fine to see certain things on YouTube and things like that, but you gotta pick up that word and that's your sword, mm -hmm. you know, because we are in spiritual warfare. So you have to put on, like it says, your whole armor. So you have mm -hmm. to pick up that word because sometimes things will happen to you where you have to go and recite certain scriptures. Um, mm -hmm. You'll have to go and pray. And um, I think that's what this is telling us also. We have to we have to stay in the word. We have to stay rooted and grounded in it. So that means every day we we mm -hmm. have to um, read and, and study and and um, and pray. Yeah. A a amen. Very well said. Very well said. Other and comments? I wanted to piggyback on that. I had a conversation with another Christian just the other day, and um, I had to reinforce with her Romans um, 12, 2, that we can't be conforming to the patterns of this world. We are designed as Christians to transform by the renewing of our mind. And that renewing comes from, as Maria Ray just said, reading your Bible and understanding the scriptures and how they apply to today's life. I agree. That was Donna, but yeah, I agree. Donna, yes. Partly, Sorry. Partly. <laughs> it, it, it comes up for you. So one time I was, um, I could feel fear all over me. And then out of nowhere, that Bible verse, God has not given me the spirit of fear popped up. I said, oh, I know who this is messing with me. Amen. And I was able to 
go to warfare and say, oh yeah, okay, I see you because once that out of nowhere just popped up. God is not giving me the spirit of fear. If I'm feeling fear, then it ain't God talking to me. So now I know who it is talking to me. Amen, amen. The um, Would someone read it one final time? I'll go. I want you to know how hard I am contending for you and for those at Laodicea and for all who have not met me personally. My goal is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mysteries of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. I tell you this so that no one may deceive you by fine sounding arguments. For though I am absent from you in body, I am present with you in spirit and delight to see how disciplined you are and how firm your faith in Christ is. So then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. See to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world rather than on Christ. For in Christ, all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form. And in Christ, you have been brought to fullness. He is the head over every power and authority. Amen. 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 So, so what's the message to send us forth this morning? What do we what do we hear? I think it's verse number four. I tell you this so that no one may be deceived, mm -hmm. may deceive you by fine sounding arguments. And mm -hmm. also number eight, so that you will not um, no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. It goes back to what Donna said. We have to be rooted and grounded in the word. Otherwise, we'll we'll fall for anything. You know, amen, amen. What else? What else are we? I love that that that, that you know that the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are all hidden in Christ. We're oh, often man. seeking wisdom and knowledge elsewhere, but it's in Christ and in true faith. Pat, continue to live your lives in Him. It just keeps sticking out, yeah. rooted and built built up in Him, mm -hmm. strengthening the faith. Mm -hmm. That just keeps sticking up at me. Mm -hmm. And 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 overflowing with thankfulness. Overflowing with thankfulness. That's a shield against the predators. I've been a college professor for 25 years. Um, the last five years in a Christian college, but the first 20 in a secular institution. And I've taught a lot of that hollow and deceptive philosophy. And I ask for forgiveness for doing that. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. What else is going to help us uh, uh, to fill us up this morning? So I had the, the, the verse nine, for in Christ, all the fullness of the de deity lives in bodily form. Mm -hmm. but, but that sounds like, you know, Christ is living in bodily form. That's human, right? Mm hmm. Amen. In, in being being the deity and saying that Christ lives in us. Christ is in us, right? Exactly. Yeah. That's exactly right. That that Christ is in bodily form. Christ is in bodily form is the church. The church is the body of Christ. What we as a collective, mean? right? What does deity mean? The, the, the uh, uh, like God, heavenly, godly. So the fullness of the deity, the fullness of the God, the, the Son of God lives in, in, in bodily form. Okay. And, and through that, we've been brought to fullness. So we have to realize that, you know, if we think ourselves as, uh, as, as connected with Christ, as part of Christ's body, that empowers us to avoid the deceptive philosophy. And, and, and I think... on true wisdom. And I think once we realize that... that that God is the very source of our being, uh, who sustains us, who wakes us up, who who is in total control. I think our lives would be much peaceful, more peaceful. I think our lives would run smoother. Um, I'm I'm just saying that from experience. Um, and 
learn to use the powers that he's given us. Um, when you are coming up against something, uh, like the other day, I was, I had got angry, got angry at my employer and I was ready to quit. And I went in the bathroom and prayed and the Holy Spirit said, be slow to anger, be slow to anger. Mm -hmm. So with that, I, I had to put on and said, put a smile on my face. I put the mm -hmm. smile on my face and he worked everything out. So when we're bringing everything to him and we're trusting in him and we know that he is going to work things out, it makes things go much smoother. Well, well, but Donna, that's a great point because what we need to do is celebrate victories against the devil, right? Yes. Yeah. That's a victory against the devil. I don't think we, we think enough about that. So when we beat down the devil, we should, that's a victory. That's what you did. Amen, amen. Because oh. then- Right to play it out. If you if that if you had demonstrated that anger, then that could have caused your job and chaos, and it would hurt you. And that's what that's what the devil wants. So, but you beat down the devil, and I think we need to really reflect every day today as we go forward when we're beating down the devil. I want to say this to her. I want to do this to him. I want to take this for me. And you say no. Let me pray. And then that's a that's a victory, a big victory for all of us. Pastor, I just wanted to add that. That only happens when you ask God and Jesus to be in you. Right. And I have to repent on this and, and say to all of you, I was guilty of having Jesus be on the side, have God mm -hmm. be on the side and the passenger seat as opposed to the driver's seat. And it's uh, very different when you invite God and Jesus into your life so that they are in your life, not on the side, but actually in your life and being the head of your life. Very different. And, and it's hard. I mean, you know, it's hard. This is, you know, you know, anybody says it's easy. It's not. It takes work. It's like everything else, you know, and exercise, no pain, no gain. And that's all <laughs> part of it. Amen. And I think that's why we're all here. Exactly. Um, we, we've oh, all right. been down that road. So, um, yeah, we, we've all been down that word road. That's, a, that's, um, through our experience and it says our experience work is hope and hope brings out our faith so i exactly. think we've all been down that road once or twice in our maybe even more than that in our lives amen and that's uh, that's what this is all about the uh with that 